Good afternoon. It's uh, Monday, February the 1st. It's uh, cold and bright, but I'm back in the reading nook uh, with some more parcels. One last one to do today, um, which is this. Uh, so fairly slim, fairly quick. Um, I've not had a few parcels recently because of COVID-19 hitting the, my sorting office. And, and also the weather. So this one is easy to open. Here, oh, and we have Gamma World, uh, the Mind Masters GW4. Um, okay, for beginning and immediate players. Uh, this, uh, let's see, uh, this, uh, oh, first printing published in 1983. Um, the first summons of the new season is called Your Name is Drawn. Drawn. You join the expedition. Your mission is to investigate the rumours of a stockpile of ancient artefacts. Following a sketchy map, you cross the Great um, River uh, Twain Way the day after leaving your settlement. Two days later, in an unexplored wilderness, you encounter hostile nomad tra tribes. After finding traces of a lost expedition, you know you're on the trail of something big, and then you find it hidden in a valley, forgotten and untouched, untouched since the devastation. You are searching for a great store of artefacts. Here it is. The whole valley is an artefact. Do you take the news back now, or go in to learn more? So, Game World is, is uh, originally published in 1978 um, and it got its second edition in uh, 1982, something like that. Um, I could be wrong, I admit, I admit that. Um, and it's, it's, um, it's a mantle that's more recently been taken up by Mutant Crawl Classics, but it's a uh, post-apocalyptic post future, generally with a gonzo edge. And you play a few stray humans, mutants, mutated animals, and plants. And apart from a few stray humans, you tend to you have mutant powers and defects. Um, so what you've got in here? Um, typical, it's a TSR module, so of the period. So you've got a basically fold out map that looks like that. A bit of a uh, um, essentially a map on the encapsulated. Cover, and then the booklet is all black and white. Um, so we go through. It's quite text heavy from uh, just literally just from the first first page. Um, so quite detailed. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, it is. And, um, and then you've got um, basically some excellent artwork. Um, basically, this is like, uh, looks like Larry Elmore. Did the cover, it's not marked as doing the internal, but there we go. Um, yeah, this is his artwork. And there's 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 the, the, the map I showed you, basically the picture of it, etc. The dome, central dome, basically the, this whole thing is an artifact. Um, and this is the fourth of the six uh six adventures I think they did. Um, inside um, you have got um more internal maps, obviously this for the GM. Uh, I've got a maze. Uh, yep, that, that's bound to delight the players. <laughs> um, and more, more smaller maps and so on, sub-levels. Uh, more great artwork. Um, I think possibly that's possibly a self-portrait. Self or it could be Gygax himself, I'm not sure, but I think it's a sort of self-portrait, if then you've got basically an appendix of um, new monsters um, as well at the back. So it's a, um, another piece, another decent illustration of a uh, basically security robot, some kind of droid there. Um, and then at the back here, um, you have a map of the region where this takes place. So um, this will be interesting. I'm not going to review it immediately. I will get to it because I want to review the, the, the core set um, prior to I look at any of the scenarios. Um, but uh, this looks to be another interesting adventure. Gamma Ward adventures have always 
um, kind of inventive because essentially the, 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 they're a mixture of sort of like techno fantasy because essentially the characters themselves tend not to be technologically advanced but they gain technology and they learn to use it and in some ways that's how they they, 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 they improve um, and uh, the world itself is really kind of odd and weird with different threats and so on um, and it's one of my favourites uh, of the early um, TSR games um, because it was always weird and wacky and, and so on. So yeah, that's um, Gamma World uh, Mind Masters. Okay, um, I will review that in due course as I say, not sure when, um, but it'll go on my shelf uh, with the rest of my Gamma World books. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching uh, another unboxing here in the Nook. If you liked it, click the button below. If you've got any feedback or comments, I do take the time to read them. And if you've liked the video, uh, you know, and want to see more of them, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully um, you'll be back soon um, with me here in the garden. Watch me unpacking, uh, unboxing another game. Bye for now.